got a lot of congratulations. Well deserved. Congratulations. You tied history here tonight. Nine consecutive wins. Tell us how you feel and how proud you are of this group right now. Uh, you know, really proud. You know, obviously, work's not done, but just uh, it shows just how hard we've been working um, and the chemistry we've been able to build uh, so far, and, you know, we just want to keep it rolling. How about you? You had it going right from the opening jump. What did you see? How were you able to impose your will out there tonight? Uh, just being aggressive, uh, picking my spots, shooting the open shots, and then, uh, you know, keeping the defense honest with my pass and trying to find the open man and uh, make him pay. What are you guys doing offense? It's now six straight games. You've shot 50% or better from the floor. What is clicking so well? It's so unselfish the way you're playing right now. Yeah, I mean, we we knew it was a matter of time before we started to click on offense. We got too many talented guys, too many guys who can step up and make shots and, uh, you know, who are great on that end as well as defense. So, you know, we're, uh, we're playing well right now. We just want to keep it going. There seems to be a genuine chemistry amongst this group, right? Tell us about how well everyone gets along and the support you're getting is phenomenal. Yep. I mean, we just want to play for each other, and uh, that's what we try to do every night. No matter who's the one uh, leading the team in scoring, who's, you know, making shots, we want to just play for each other. So, uh, you know, we did a good job of that tonight, and we're going to try to do it again tomorrow. You're the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Your teammate is gunning for Eastern Conference Player of the Week yeah. next week. But three straight 30-point performances from Brock. Yeah, that's what he do. That's what we do. We want him to be aggressive at all times. I mean, he puts too much pressure on the defense. He's 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 hard to stop. So when he's when he's going like he is now, uh, not too many teams that can that can do anything with him. So we like where he's at. All right. Lastly, tell Magic fans how much you appreciate the support and how much fun this is for you. And how much you want to keep it going, Paul. Yeah. No, I, I love the fans. They've been doing a great job packing these home games out, bringing energy. We gonna keep collecting W's for them and uh. You know, finishing strong. So I appreciate them and uh, the love in Amway has been great. Again, as we check in with Mo Wagner, kind enough to join us. He had another terrific outing, 18 points, 12 of them in the fourth quarter. Listen, Mo, I know you take it one game at a time. You don't get too high, but come on. This is fun as heck right now. Nine consecutive wins, right? You get bored by the same answers over and over again. <laughs> but I heard, I, I heard that's the secret to success to do the boring things over and over again. And that's kind of what we're trying to do here. Obviously, you got to fight human nature, everyone. Once in a while, you know, uh, sometimes you slack on the energy, uh, on the focus level, and um, it's a challenge for a young team to, to handle success. And um, obviously, that being said, uh, uh, the energy is good right now in the facility and uh, on the bus. I'm not going to lie. Yes, it is. Mo, in the last game uh, against Washington two nights ago, uh, you know, we got beat in some areas that we don't normally get beat in. Uh, what, what I used to call effort points, second chance, fast break points. Uh, the Washington got to the free throw line more often. Did, did the coaches talk about that in the pregame or the preparation this morning? Yeah, for sure. I think there's been a trend in the past three games. I think we gave Boston a lot of free throws, Charlotte as well. Turned it over way too much in the Charlotte and the Wizards game. Um, so there's been a trend, and that's, that, that, that's how you handle success. You know, you got to find ways to get better even though you win. Um, and I'm happy this group embraces that. Uh, another thing for us, I think, is turnovers. That's huge for us. If, if we can get a flow going offensively, um, that's super valuable for us, and we can run out in transition. And obviously, everybody feeds on that and guards harder and plays harder. So um, we did a better job today, but that first quarter was uh, not our standard. Well, you guys knew uh, Washington was going to come out and give you their best shot uh, after the shellacking. Uh, on Wednesday. So what was the, the mindset? What did you guys talk about? Well, yeah, again, I mean, it's it's kind of not too much what the other team does. I think the mentality always has been that the, the skill level is enough and the, the, the ability is there to beat everyone in this league. Um, I think it's a, it's a level of focus that you got to bring to the table and uh, yeah, a level of concentration and just discipline to do the boring things over and over again. And that's crashing, that's not turning it over, and that's getting back on defense, taking the pain away. And if we do that, I think our flow kind of is good enough to, to, to score a lot of points and win those games um, and I think today was a good example of that working out again. No one spends more time with your brother than you. What are you <laughs> seeing about this, fortunately or unfortunately right for you, but what, yeah. are, you, what are you seeing yeah. about this rhythm that he's in? Three straight 30 point games. You got to go back to Dwight Howard. That's that's the kind of stuff that he's doing. Yeah, right that's now. pretty impressive. I mean uh, I'm. it's always interesting for me, right, because I'm his teammate and his brother and his family member, so I'm speaking out of two different perspectives. Um, as my brother, he still pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> as my teammates, I'm obviously super, uh, super happy to see him play like this. 
he works so hard, man. He deserves the world. Um, he has a curiosity and a certain energy to him that 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 it's un. Yeah, you can't really explain that. Uh, for a young guy like that, you see that rare in the league, and with that skill level to come in every day and trying to improve every day. And um, again, I can ravel on about that all day, but we don't want to make this a, a family <laughs> family show. Um, so yeah, obviously super happy for him and super happy for me that I'm able to be on his team. Well, I can I can just say say this. That's what us Big Ten guys do. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. There you <laughs> go. We got a bunch on this squad. <laughs> hey, four offensive rebounds tonight. You're eight zero now. The Magic. When you get two or more offensive rebounds in a game. You guys with your stats, man. Okay. I'm not a I'm not a numbers guy. <laughs> Come you know, on just, now, that's huge. That's I just close stuff. I just close my eyes and run people over and hope the ball falls <laughs> in my arms. <laughs> hey, I want to know if Franz would say the same thing about you. Um, well, you gotta ask him. He always asks. <laughs> me to come here uh no obviously no, i mean about being an, an irritant I <laughs> oh of course 100 percent uh he learned from the best uh, uh it's a, it's a brotherly brotherly relationship healthy as it should be and obviously it's all love um but every once in a while we look at you, uh, each other crazy all right well listen let's go catch that plane the, the plane will leave me they won't leave you so i gotta i just gotta you beat would you think there. you would think <laughs> dress warm all right let's keep it going here in brooklyn yeah. tomorrow great job right, mo. good job mo which obviously, you know, not the perfect game on the defensive side or, or with turnovers early, but what did you like about your group's ability to, to rebound from that and close this one out with a win? It's, it's showing continued growth with this group. You know, we're going to have to find ways to win in different ways. Um, and tonight was one of those nights. They play a different style of basketball. They mix the defenses up. You know, our, our guys did a great job of recognizing what it was uh, in the second half. And I think they did, a, they, they, you know, they banded together and communicated the right way. The, the team struggled a lot earlier in the season, kind of closing games out like this. How, what growth, you know, you mentioned the growth of this team. What growth have you seen from their poise closing out games, especially when teams are trying to chase them down for the lead? Communication. Uh, I'm going to always go back to that. It's the, their, their ability to communicate with one another, the things that they see, the things that they want. There's a few possessions. Joe, Paulo, and Franz got us into the right set, uh, recognizing what they were doing in the zone. And then when they went man, they did a great job of just talking to each other of what they recognized and what they saw. As you look ahead to tomorrow night's game, defensively you kind of talked about it a little bit but what would you like to see your team do defensively in order to continue this streak against Brooklyn tomorrow I, I think we've got to get back to protecting the rim you know they had 54 points in the paint tonight uh, and again we forgot to do a better job of defending without fouling and some of these are just you know the silly fouls uh, the swipe downs we have them stopped in the in the early possession and then we swipe down and give a foul if we can do a better job of playing with our hands being shown and then keep protecting protection on the rim and then getting out to shooters. Coach Terrence Ross announced his retirement shortly before the game tonight and he was mm. in the arena tonight. Could you talk a little bit about his impact that he still has on this team even though he may not be on the roster anymore? He, sitting courtside, I looked over him. He gave a thumbs up as they were running their, some of their sets. It was so great to see him out there. I mean, he just brought such a great joy to this group that he's been with, been in the gym and on, in the locker room with these guys. So they, they look up to him. They're still in chats together. Uh, I, I think he's such a, a great veteran for our guys uh, as, with a young group when he was here. It was great to have him. You mentioned Paolo, Franz, and Joe and, and their ability to kind of gather the team together. How, how important is their selflessness? You know, I think they, they each had more, at least six assists in the game. They were kind of spearheading that, that attack late. How important is their selfless, selflessness in, in getting the job done tonight? I, I think it's so important for this group to be able to stay tied together, communicate the right message with one another, you know, you know, had guys going in and out and nobody, you know, batted an eye at, you know, coming in the game or out of the game because it's about what can we do to become successful. You know, you look at what Jalen did in some of these defensive possessions down the stretch. So, I mean, everybody played a part. We've talked about it from the beginning of camp and the year. It is going to be done by committee. And these guys recognize that. And that's what we're going to have to continue to do. Coach, I know you, you know, tend to look at it one game at a time, but just looking back, you know, for your group to record nine straight wins, match a franchise record, there's obviously a lot of good franchise teams this, this group has had. Um, just how proud are you of your, your group to kind of be considered amongst those teams? It's big time for this group, you know, but more importantly, I, I think it's so big time for the fans and the organization, you know, there's, there's a energy, there is a vibe, there's a buzz about this group and our guys are doing a great job of embracing it. 
you know, not getting too high, not getting too low, but being able to register, you know what, this is something special, but it is a special group of young men in that locker room that are doing it for all the right reasons, which is for each other. Three straight 30-point games for, for Franz. What is, what is he seeing or what are you seeing from him to, to get hit, to get him going after you know, he had a little bit of a slower start to the season? I think the confidence and the trust that he has within his game, but also the confidence and the trust that his teammates have in him. Uh, they're finding him, registering and recognizing plays uh, on the fly. Like I said, Joe, Paulo, and, and he all talked about things that can be done, the different situations. And it's great when you have a group of young men that can make quick decisions, that are selfless, and that are just trying to find the right play. doesn't matter. doesn't matter who scores. It's about making the right play and the right decision while you're on the court.